Nurse thought she had sore throat. Then body turned into leopard print. Okay. Despite her blotchy diagnosis, she's found her sweet spot. In January, Ashling Armstrong thought she was suffering from a mild sore throat and a slightly unsightly case of acne. But when thousands of small red and scaly teardrop shaped spots surfaced across her chest, torso, arms, legs, and back, the newly qualified nurse knew her skin was in for a bumpy ride. It started on my chest in mid-January. It was very mild at this point, Armstrong 22, from Belfast, County Antrim. Northern Ireland told Kennedy News. When I was younger, I used to have really bad acne, so I didn't think anything of it. But as the blotches worsened in size and color, Armstrong grew more concerned. Look at those spots. Wow. My goodness. Hmm. So she thought she had a sore throat. My mom came up to Belfast the following week and asked to see my back. And I hadn't seen it myself. And she said, Ashley, your back is completely covered, she recalled. And when physicians weighed in on the matter, the prognosis sent Armstrong into an emotional black hole. I went to the doctors and they diagnosed me with gutate psoriasis, which got me down a lot, she said. I didn't uh, have medical advisor said the sore throat likely caused the sudden rash. Gutate psoriasis is a skin disease common in children and young adults, which often erupts after an infection like step throat for the Cleveland Clinic. The flare-up isn't a chronic condition and usually goes away on its own after a few weeks. So, however, in Armstrong's case, the breakout has persisted for nearly six months. But on Tuesday, she revealed to her more than one, 400 TikTok followers that after five sessions of treatment, her blotches were finally beginning to fade. The recovery comes after Armstrong's nearly unbearable term of embarrassment. At the beginning, it made me very angry and a wee bit insecure, she said. I was recovering. I was covering myself constantly. I was wearing a North Face coat when the sun was shining outside and was just really embarrassed by the whole thing. I just didn't want anyone to know about it, so I was constantly wearing jeans, jumpers, and just anything to cover it. Wow. That looks terrible. But when the rose-colored blotches began appearing on her cheeks and forehead, Armstrong knew she could no longer hide her spotty shame. It came onto my face, and that's when I was like, I can't hide this anymore, she remembered. Shortly thereafter, Armstrong decided to unveil her skin to her social media subscribers on TikTok. I was just sitting in my room one night and I was like, should I talk about this? I'm just sitting here, fighting with myself and it's making me more stressed. Not telling anybody and hiding it, she said. On Easter, this April, Armstrong boldly shared a video of herself right there, in a halter crop top, which failed to hide her blotchy red max, and she's so glad she did. I posted it, and it's literally the best thing 
I have ever done in my life. I feel so amazing about it, she said. I didn't that her TikTok followers have since relentlessly lavish her with love and support. My confidence has skyrocketed. I can't even describe it. It's amazing. I feel really powerful. And that self-esteem boost has helped mitigate the sting that comes from passerby shamelessly gawking at her leopard printed skin out in public. The blotches are everywhere. My ears, face, the bridge, my feet, legs, hips, bum cheeks, everywhere, said Armstrong. I get people staring every day. I honestly don't care anymore. I am so past the point of caring. The question is, would this go away? The spunky brunette added, what I thought to myself one day when I was walking back from the gym, I was just wearing a wee gym set with shorts. If you actually do look at it, it kind of looks like burns. So I understand people staring and probably thinking, oh God, what's happened to her? Is she a burns victim or something? I thought like that as well. And whenever the demons of insecurity unexpectedly resurface, Armstrong fights back with poise. Sometimes if I see a large group of people walking, sometimes I'll put my head down, but I do try my best to keep my head up to fat. Noting that her newfound calling to normalize the beauty of her condition is her motivation. So this is out of Ireland. And it goes on, now I feel powerful walking down the street. Everyone's looking at me. I take it as a positive thing. Maybe so. But nobody wants to have this stuff. Look at that. My goodness. And they ask, what do you think? Well, I know I have a case of psoriasis. I think it's going back to 20, yeah, 2018. And that still drove me crazy. Itching, itching, itching like crazy, but not like what she has. And I had to go to a dermatologist and get treated with, um, it was like a type of x-ray light. Yeah, no, a UV, a UV light. Like different sessions. Yeah, that helped a while, but it's like it's coming back. And then uh, I went to Mexico. I got treated in Mexico. Yeah. And that made a difference going down to Mexico. But um, here in the U.S., they have all these different things that put you on, on different drugs and so forth. I think, I think, it's, <laughs> I think it's more about making money, coming back, seeing the doctor, you know, because insurance paying for that. Every time you show up at the uh, dermatologist office and so forth. I went to Mexico once. And they gave me a prescription. And uh, that made a difference, believe me. Like in two nights time, I was able to sleep while in Mexico. <laughs> and Mexico is a hot country. So just, just keep that in mind.